They play hard. You got to tip your hat to them. They definitely play hard. You can't go freaking bear hunting with BB guns. There's no tomorrow. We don't win today. My name is Darren Dreifert. Um, play for the Los Angeles Dodgers. I played uh, for the Anchorage Glacier Pilots. Uh, the uh, kind of the last couple of weeks of the '92 season, and uh, went to the NBC tournament with them then. And uh, the majority, actually, all of the '93 uh, or yeah, majority of the '93 summer. But I had always heard that it was a beautiful place to play baseball, and uh, I had uh, several guys that I played with in college that had already gone there, um, and uh, just got the opportunity to go and and took it. It was. It was awesome. You know, I, the one thing I never did, I never went salmon fishing. I mean, everybody said that that was the big thing to do, but it seemed like it never worked out for me to go. Um, we had uh, some great people that I stayed with, Ron and Dee Okerlund. Um, and they've taken care of a lot of guys over the years. And, and uh, we, uh, another fellow by the name of Paul Johnson um, took us uh, trout fishing uh, one weekend, went out and stayed in in some log cabins on Bonnie Lake that uh, he actually had built built himself. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Okay. You know, I, I grew up going to the NBC tournament, so you know there was always somebody from Alaska there playing. Uh, you know, Fairbanks was there uh, in the early '80s. I remember a lot of uh, guys from Wichita State playing for them, and, and uh, actually, our, my pitching coach from Wichita State was a uh, coach for the Glacier Pilots, pitching coach Brent Kemnitz, way back. And, uh, you know, he loved it up there, too. As far as I know, a, a lot of guys want to go there. Um, you know, they, they know it's a good league uh, for baseball. It's a beautiful area of the, of the country and of the world. And, and um, you know, so pretty much any time anybody gets an opportunity to go, they take it. Um, you know, the, the weather up there is beautiful, you know, pretty much the whole summer. Uh, you got. Uh, daylight almost 24 hours a day or you know at least some kind of a, a dusk type deal even when it's two o'clock in the morning so it's pretty neat it was a little bit hard you know trying to trying to go to bed and still being light out but uh, you know, it, it was you, know, you got used to it pretty quick I worked with Jack you know a little bit he was there both the years that I was there um, and I was real sorry to hear about him passing away uh, recently just a couple months ago wasn't it yeah um, but just a, a great man, um, you know. We had the uh, the end of the season, um, you know, team party at uh, at O'Toole's, and and uh, so that was always fun. I think uh, I, I gave up the longest home run I've ever given up. That was in Alaska. It was actually against my brother's team. Uh, he was playing for uh, Kenai, and uh, gave up my longest home run to him. So that was that was interesting. Was it in Kenai or was it in Anchorage? It was in Kenai. Yeah, so. Did you guys see it at the Bingo Hilton? Yep, sure did. Yeah, that was, <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, that's just, that's just part of it, and that was a lot of fun, too. I mean, just a lot of guys shacked up in the, in the back of the back of a bingo parlor, and, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, just, just part of the experience.